Mike with Tech PB. And I got an exciting show here today. This is one that's been requested quite a bit. And we're going to talk about padding, okay? A lot of questions about padding, uh, paintball padding, uh, protection, elbows, knees, slider shorts, uh, padded jerseys, padded pants, padded gloves, um, undershirts that are padded, I mean, you know, padded head protection, you name it. I've had tons of questions on it. So we're going to talk about padding today. <clears throat> um, now, I know that there's a threshold of padding that is not legal for tournaments, okay? So you have to check with your tournament rules if you're playing in tournaments to see what is an acceptable level of padding. Sometimes it can be two layers, sometimes it can be three layers, sometimes it could be a quarter inch, sometimes it could be uh, bagginess that they're going to measure, okay? So without without going into that, and, and I know some people are going to be, well, that's too much padding, that's not PSP legal, or that's not a, a, you know, a CFOA legal or something like that. I don't care about that. We're not talking today about tournament paintball. If you've got uh, questions about what is legal for your tournament that you're playing in, you need to go to the website and download the rules for your specific tournament. For the purposes of this video, I'm only going to talk about rec ball from the aspect of personal protection. Okay. Um, this video, what I want to talk about is uh, I want to talk about some of the padding that's currently on the market and I want to talk about also a little bit of the history of paintball. In today's market, 2009, paintball players are very lucky and have a lot of choices when it comes to padding. Um, the late 90s, 2000, 2001, there really was not a lot of choices in terms of uh, protection. And Let's start with the pants. Um, this is a pair of, uh, of JTs. I've also got a pair of dyes that I usually wear in the woods. Um, most of the paintball pants, uh, right around about from about 2001, 2002, were mostly just windbreaker shit. It was like they took a pair of just basic warm up jogging pants and ironed on a paintball logo on it. And that was the that was basically your paintball pants. It was a pair of windbreakers that had uh, a paintball company on there. For you guys that have been around for a long time, you know, you guys probably remember that buying a hundred dollar pair of paintball pants that were basically a pair of windbreakers with with uh, no protection on them whatsoever. It was just windbreakers. The first time you slid in, you tore them. I mean, they were junk. And about 2003, 2002, 2003, 2004, paintball companies really started stepping it up when it came to protection for the players in terms of the pants. Now I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, you know, so you started seeing like the excessive pants that came out that were built by uh, Clutch Technology that were awesome. Um, you know, JTs were probably one of the main pioneers that really started stepping it up, like the 04 JT tournament pants. Awesome. I had a pair of those for years. Um, then around you know 05 and 06, other companies really started stepping it up. Die came into it. Planet Eclipse started cranking out some really good pants. And now, in paintball, you really can't go wrong with a lot of the companies that are out there in terms of padding. Most of the companies that are out there, I'd say 99% of them, are cranking out great products in terms of padding, um, in terms of jersey padding, in terms of knee padding, and stuff like that. The most important thing that I'm going to start on today is going to be knee protection, okay? You know, most of the time when you're playing paintball, even in the woods and on the airball field, your knees are what are going to take the most abuse. Now, if you've never had what I like to call an oh shit moment, an oh shit moment is when you knee down on a stake, knee down on a rock, knee down on a sprinkler head, knee down on a hammer that was left out onto the field, knee down onto a bottle cap or a piece of glass, if it, you know, those are moments that, that if you haven't experienced them yet, it's not a good day. Okay, I've had quite a few oh shit moments. I've had fields that 
uh, you know, they moved the field and left a stake in the ground. And as I'm behind a Dorito, I knee down and feel that thing go into my kneecap. You know, I've also um, knee down on sprinkler heads. You know, I put down on a knee, I go to pop out, and I'm kneeing down on what feels like hard plastic. And all of a sudden, you get that pain through it. I've also been in the woods where I've knee down on roots or uh, knee down on, uh, on stumps that have gone up into my kneecap and stuff like that. And I'm not talking about like puncture wounds, but I mean just that, that, that pressure. So the most important thing that you can get in terms of padding before we start really getting into it is knee protection. Now, on the Tech PB Deal Hunter, and I'm going to pitch the Tech PB Deal Hunter. Why? Because it's the best fucking website on the planet, and I love that section because there's a lot of good deals in there. You can get like Empire contact pants from like 2007 for like 40 or $50 in there. Go into General Paintball. Tech could be online deal hunter. You have to log in to see the thread, and you're going to see coupons in there to get good pants. Um, all the paintball apparel that's out there, from the knees, like my personal ones that I've been using for quite a few years, are either the Protos or the Die Core knee pads. Planet Eclipse makes great knee pads. Um, you know, the uh, NXE makes great knee pads. Uh, Empire makes great knee pads. You know, now Sly's coming into the mix with their, their memory foam. You got gel, you've got neoprene, lots of options that are out there. But the biggest thing with getting these is getting them to size properly. Many different uh, players and companies, their sizes are completely different. Like I found that NXEs run a little bit small. Uh, Empires run about the same size. Um, uh, Planet Eclipse runs about true to size. Dies generally run kind of small. So the best thing you can do if you're curious about it, go into uh, Tech to Be the Forms, Equipment Advice, and say, you know what, I'm five foot nine, I weigh 170 pounds. I'm, you know, what do you think would fit me for knee pads? I'm like me, six foot four, 205 pounds. What would fit me best for knee pads? Or I'm five foot two, 120 pounds. What knee pads would fit me the best? The the it's hard ordering, especially online, to pick knee pads that fit you the best. One of the best things I can tell you to do is go into a store and try them on, and and see which ones are going to fit the best. The new die core knee pads, I really like these because they're a little bit loose on the top, which I like, which gives me room to bend my knee, but they also clamp really hard uh, just above the calf, so they don't slide down, but they feel great when I. I'm on my knees and, and I'm, I'm out there on plan. I wear these for woods and for and for uh, uh, air ball. So, you know, just because, you know, and, and I know that padding is very expensive, okay, but it's also an investment. I've always invested into padding. I've, you, I've worn everything from volleyball knee pads to baseball knee pads to, um, you know, uh, what a, any kind of knee pads I could find. I even one time, I was so desperate one time to find knee pads, I went to like Home Depot and bought those like tiling knee pads, like what the people use to tile the floors. You know, anything is better than nothing. And if I had to say the one place to invest it is first into your knees. I would even say don't even worry about the gloves. Don't even worry about a beanie. Don't even worry about a jersey. But the most important thing to invest your money into it would be getting first a good pair of pants. And you don't have to buy 2009 stuff. Buy the stuff that's on clearance, the 2007, 2008 stuff. Most of the time you're looking at minor cosmetic changes anyway. It's going to work just as good. The old Proto stuff works great. Um, the old JT pants. I've got these from a and Gear for $50, man. These are awesome pants. So that's what I want to start off with. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Um, so I've got the, uh, the JT pants, I'm going to put those on the floor. The knee pads, which are probably one of the most important things to get, let's go ahead and put that on the floor. Also, 2008 dye knee pads right now are in Tech TV's online deal hunter, $19. Okay, that's about half what I paid for these. Awesome knee pads. Um, now that we talked about that, um, the next progression is jerseys. Okay, now jerseys are kind of hit or miss. Like for instance, here's a damaged jersey. I love this thing. This is one that's made by dye. As you can see, it's got good shoulder protection, it's got forearm protection, but also this is an expensive jersey. You know, these jerseys are like $100. Um, there's other jerseys that are cheaper. Jersey, I wouldn't worry too much about. I say get a cheap jersey, but good elbow pads. Um, NXC makes great elbow pads. Planet Eclipse, great elbow pads. Empire, 2009 Empire gear is awesome. Great knee pads. These are the dye ones. These are the ones that I wear because they're in camouflage, and I think they're kind of cool if they're in camouflage because I wear them sometimes uh, um, over like my Under Armour shirts and stuff like that. Also, great pads. 
So you got to try these on, make sure they fit right, that your elbow's in the right place, uh, that you can bend your elbow, that they position themselves properly. Sly, another company that just came out making great stuff. Um, you, you can't go wrong with any of the uh, companies that are on the market right now. The, the demand from paintball consumers has gotten to the point where very few companies that are out there right now are actually cranking out dog shit, if any at all. Most of the stuff that you're going to find right now, Sly, Planet Eclipse, Die, Empire, Proto, uh, NXE, all of these major companies right now are making great stuff and you can't go wrong. The hardest thing is sizing them. If you get into the Tech BB forums, type in your, uh, you know, your body type, your body size, someone will have a good recommendation for you and you can't go wrong. But elbow pads are very important, not just in the woods and not just on the air ball field, but the cool thing is, is when you're playing, you got your elbow out, you go to pop out, you take a bounce off the elbow, you're still in the game. These are great, especially if you're playing air ball and you're diving into your bunkers, man. The first time you get a bottle cap, scrape you from, from wrist to elbow, or like me, I was at a, a spray paint down in Miami, and they've got that limestone shit that's above, you know, just below the grass. I ran and did a full speed Superman dive without my elbow pads, and I literally carved this all the way up. Like, I still have scars here because I was bleeding through my jersey. I went and slid in on a field I'd never played on before. And I was like, oh, my God, what did I just do to my elbow? Um, so elbow pads are very, very important. So let's go ahead and put those down. Gloves, um, I got these. These are my, I like these. Uh, the type of gloves that I like are the ones that don't have all the straps and all that crap. You know, I'm, I'm here to play paintball. I'm not here to play baseball. These 07 JT gloves I bought from ANS Gear. These are on sale for $9. They're my favorite pair of gloves. I bought like five pairs of them. And uh, so gloves, you know, they, they take the sting a little bit out when you get hit in the hands. Um, and they do help a little bit, especially if you're diving and you're bracing yourself. But in terms of padding, not really that important. I'll put this down. Now we're going to talk about Head protection, okay? We've all been hit in the head when playing paintball. It hurts, okay? It even hurts me, and my head is like made of solid granite. There's a couple different ways that you can go about with head protection. One of my favorite things to do is I go to Ross or TJ Maxx or, um, you know, or one of these discount stores like Marshalls or something like that, and you can find beanies there for like $4, okay? And this is where I usually get all my beanies. And most of the time when I play, I wear a beanie. It's a little bit warmer than, for instance, a Sandana, but Sandanas are really going to offer uh, protection on the top, you know? So if you're looking down to reload and you get hit in the top of the head, it's going to sting a little bit. So typically, I will favor a beanie over a sandana. Sandanas are great in a really hot winter because you've got the wicking fabric over your head and it breathes a little bit better and stuff like that. But here, you're taking a trade-off. Do I want comfort or do I want protection? And you really can't go anywhere between the two. Um, here's another one um, from Bunker King. I love wearing this. I wear this in the woods all the time. Um, gives great forehead protection. Um, but obviously no protection on the top of your head. It's cool, it feels good, it gets the sweat out of my eyes, but at the same time, no protection on the top of the head. So if I get shot from up close on the top of the head, I'm going to have a nice size welt. This is probably the ultimate in head protection is from 100th Monkey. I've had this thing for like five or six years. Um, you know, I love this thing when I'm in the snake. They're called turtle caps or bounce caps. Um, I mean, it's, you know, basically turns your head into like an egg, but this is a great head protection just because it's got really thick padding. I mean, there's been times I've gone to pop my head up in the snake and taken balls that have bounced clean off this thing and straight up into the net. Um, this is probably the ultimate in head protection, but these are also expensive. These are $30, and you can buy these from 100thmonkey.com, but it's a great investment into head protection. Um, so let's, now that we've talked about some of the basics, knee pads, pants, elbow pads, head protection, now let's get into some more ad, what I like to call advanced uh, forms of padding. This is uh, one of the Empire Bounce shirts, okay? These are great. Um, I, have, um, I have one from Empire and I also have one from Sly. The one from Sly I actually wore at PSP Phoenix and I'll probably wear this one again at uh, PSP Mid-Atlantic Open. It feels great, um, gives you a little bit of chest protection, uh, just a slight amount of shoulder protection. Um, you know, if, when you get bunkered from up close, you get shot in the back like five or six times from that far away. These are really gonna save you. I got bunkered at uh, uh, MAO, you know, it happens to everybody. And, uh, you know, player went by, rah, striped me up, you know, broke paint all over me, but I was okay because I had a padded shirt on. I was wearing the one from Sly. It's got this memory foam on it, and it took the 
thing out. Um, you know, this doesn't make you a chicken shit. It doesn't make you a pussy. I mean, it makes you somebody who is actually going to play harder because you're not going to care too much about you getting shot from really, really close. You know, if you're not fearing the pain part of paintball, you're going to be an animal when you're out there. So this is a, you know, th these type of bounce shirts are great investments if you don't want to get hit or if you're a female and you're worried about, you know, a breast trauma and, and, and bruises to the chest, you know, uh, um, you know, this is also a really good investment. But it's it's also on the warmer side, okay? It's a little bit warm to wear these. You need to make sure you're drinking tons of water, you know, hosing yourself off with water and stuff like that because these are also very warm. It's like wearing almost like a little, uh, a little blanket around you. So that's it for the bounce shirts. Once again, getting more and more, more investment into your gear. Slider shorts. Very, very important, okay? You know, if you've never been shot in the nuts before, I'm going to tell you. I've been shot in the nuts many, many times. I'm amazed that I actually got twins. I thought I'd be sterile at this point in my life after how many times I've been shot in the nuts. Uh, slider shorts are great, especially when you're, you know, they, they not only protect your hips when you're, you know, hip sliding into your bunkers, but they also have additional groin protection, which a lot of pants have, a lot of pants don't, but they have additional groin protection, so when you get shot in the pee, -pee it's not going to hurt as bad. So, slider shorts, another investment, but, you know, like I said, this is getting more and more expensive. If you can't afford slider shorts, at least make sure that the pants that you're wearing, uh, that you purchase, have groin protection. The JTs that I showed do not not have groin protection. It's just a windbreaker there. The dye pants that I have have groin protection. That's not a lot, but it's just, you know maybe just enough. Me personally, I like wearing slider shorts when I'm out there. It just makes me feel better knowing that my PP is safe. So. <laughs> Um, we talked about jerseys. Here's the 07, or maybe even this is the 08 JT tournament jersey. Um, got lots of padding across the uh, the shoulders up top here. A little bit of padding on the back, padding on the forearms. Doesn't the padding on the forearms is not meant to replace uh, uh, forearm pads? Just meant to kind of subsidize it. So it just kind of adds just a little bit to it. Not a lot. Um, Planet Eclipse makes great padded jerseys. Dye also makes you know jerseys that got a little bit of padding on it. Um, I would probably invest in a bounce shirt and elbow pads before I spend a lot of money on a jersey. Jerseys get ripped apart, and uh, um, you know they're just they're, you know you're better off investing in good elbow pads and a bounce vest or, or, or one of those um, bounce shirts before you spend a lot of money on a jersey. Jerseys get ripped apart. The bounce shirts and the elbow pads seem to last forever. Now. Here's the grand finale, the, the Mac Daddy, the mother of all padding. And this is something that we're working on that we're going to be reviewing. This is, I mean, this is so out there in terms of padding, it's not even funny. This is the splat suit, okay? Now, what this is, is this is basically, let me lay this across here. This is a brand new product that just came on the market. We got one of the first ones. And um, this has padding from your pretty much your toes all the way up through the back of your head. It's got a flap uh, that comes out the back to protect the back of your head. So this is this comes out the back to protect the back of your head. Your goggles actually it actually it like encloses your whole head when you put your goggles on. Um, shoulder protection, tons of chest protection. Um, you know, it's got thigh protection, knee protection, shin protection. It's got a huge plate on the back. This is the back of the splat suit. Uh, that protects you in case you get shot in the back if somebody sneaks up on you and shoots you. This is the mother of all protection, you know. And, and I love this product for the simple reason of a lot of people are very nervous when they first go out there and play paintball and this jumpsuit from splat suit if you really are nervous about playing or maybe you've got a, a sister that wants to play that's really scared about playing or or a mom or a dad that just wants to go out there and play with their kids for the first time and they're not really interested in getting all welted up or something like that um, this type of suit right here it's a coverall suit so you basically go into it with your shorts and a t-shirt on you put it all on um, it basically cover it's like coveralls from head to toe this kind of suit I really like and I think that a lot of fields should start picking something like this up. Somebody tries it on, they go out and play two or three times, um, you know, they realize it's not as bad as they thought it was going to be. They get hit two or three times. Like, okay, you know, it's not, a, you know, it's not the intense pain that I see in the movies and stuff like that. Um, you know, okay, cool. Now I can take it off and hand it back to the field. This is a really cool idea. 
Um, you know, would I go and play a tournament with this? No, absolutely not. It's you know, it's way too warm. Um, but you know, would I feel a lot more comfortable if my daughters were going out and they were going to play paintball for the first time if they put this on? Absolutely. You know, it's it's going to take some of the sting out. It may help people overcome their fear of, of getting hit with the paintball. And after they wear it one or two times, like oh, this isn't so bad. They take it off, hand it back to the field owner. So that's the padding show. I really hope that helps you make decisions in your padding. Start with your knees and work your way up from there. If you have any questions, go into uh, equipment advice or, or um, paintball chatter in the TechDB forums and type up your question. Tons of great people in there are going to help you answer or send me an email. I can point you in the right direction. But take advantage of the technology and the padding in the paintball industry right now in 2009 because let me tell you what, compared to what we had eight years ago, you really can't go wrong with any of the padding that's on the market right now. Anything, anything is better than nothing. So thanks.